various reasons, I began to think I should look for another job. So halfway through my first year as a lecturer, a friend of mine said, why don't you apply for that job at West Ham? And I said, where's West Ham? And it turned out to be Stratford, of course, which I knew because of this Theatre Royal, which I'd been to quite often. Mm -hmm. So I applied for this job, and it turned out they wanted to start psychology. In fact, they had just about started it, because West Ham College was set up originally to do external degrees of the University of London. Right. So we had no control over the degree itself, but we prepared students. Yep. Uh, they were very, West Ham was very strong in chemical engineering, chemistry and biology. Right. But those subjects were fading away, demand was falling off. So they were looking around for something new. And as it happened, there was a member of staff on the mathematics department who had a joint degree in maths and psychology. And she must have suggested there might be takers for a bit of psychology. When people said, uh, is there anything you'd like to add? And I said, and I remember this very distinctly, <laughs> there were two words in the job specification which particularly attracted me, and they were rapid expansion. <laughs> that never did go well, because that's what they were after, you see. So, uh, right. anyway, I was appointed. I'd been a lecturer for half a year. I was now a senior lecturer in charge of the new development. Right. There was a, one g genuine psychologist already in post, called Ron Good, mm -hmm. who was an educational psychologist. They quickly appointed another, who was Ben Reich, right. another Birkbeck graduate. And then, in the course of the year, five more before the new psychology began properly in the autumn of 65. 65. So yeah. there was a team of eight, right. brand new really, and starting a new degree course and thinking how to do it. So where was that geographically? Where, where, Sorry, what? what? In, in what building was that? Where was that oh, well, geographically? It, it began, the very beginning, before I arrived, was in a basement in the old building, which is now the uh, university house. But we were offered two prefabricated huts, oh. which were on the site now occupied by Morrison's. Oh, okay. And legend had it that they'd been condemned for human use every year since 1945, but whether that's true or not, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, what, which are many, many stories. And yeah, yeah. For example, money was very tightly controlled. Mm -hmm. well, let me t say about the ti staff timetables. Mm -hmm. Of course, an academic doesn't have a scheduled timetable most of the time. But the principal wanted a more convincing timetable, and the local authority wanted an even more convincing one. <laughs> so I actually had to have three timetables for each member of staff. <laughs> right. One that they actually worked, yeah. the hours of lectures, yeah. one that I could present to the principal, and a third one that he could present to the governing body, <laughs> to show that every hour was occupied with something. Yep. <laughs> And I agreed, because my general principle was, if it's likely to promote, to promote psychology, I'm for it. Mm -hmm. uh, because one of the things I did get from Birkbeck was a conviction that psychology is immensely valuable. Yep. And I personally think it should be part of all education. Mm -hmm.